Louise with Louise McKay Art. And guess what I'm doing today? Another Lazy Susan. But first, hope everyone's doing good. I tell you what, around here, spring has definitely sprung and it is just gorgeous. Got the window open, door open. I mean, it's amazing. So today, Ikea, Lazy Susan. I have it taped in the back and, every, and the uh, Lazy Susan portion taped. So I'm spinning on my spinner. I'm gonna be doing a tricorn black base. And what I've got in the lineup here is this pearl Arctic sapphire blue. Here's my consistency. I'm gonna be doing a swipe. This is Burnt Sienna by Golden, 24 karat gold by Deco Art. This is a combination of Arteza's Prussian and Liquid Texas Dioxazine Purple. If you can see the consistency here. And then on this last color I've got is Amsterdam's Naples Yellow. So the idea here is to do a swipe one way starting from the center and then the other way starting from the center because I want more of my cells to end up in the middle because what I've realized is that starting a swipe over here on one side, I lose this, I lose the good cells off. So I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way out. We'll see what we get. I've got a batch of cell activator with my American Flow Troll cell activator. I literally just mixed it up a few minutes ago. But I'm not worried yeah. about you know being too roughed up or anything because it's just cell activator. So here's the consistency. And this is video 141. Okay, let me get my black down and get this thing started. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm getting the butterflies again. <clears throat> so first color will be the cell activator. And that's going down the pellet knife. Spread her out. And then any excess I'm gonna put back into the tub, which I have some. Stretch it out. You don't need to see all this. I'll delete some of that stuff. Get it back to the middle. Okay, so the first color I'm putting down is this pearl sapphire blue. Now, I did some test coasters yesterday, and I did a variety of trials. Different uh, sequencing. So we'll see how this comes out, because this was with just a, uh, yesterday what I did was just on coasters, and it was with the bloom blowing it out. This is a swipe, so this may act differently. I did a couple test swipes yesterday, and I like the way it turned out. So we'll see what happens. Because you just never know until you really do it. This is the gold, 24 karat. Just drizzling it on. Next is the Prussian blue dioxazine purple combination. I know this is a little dark for this dark base, but it does look really pretty in this color combination. Last color is the Naples yellow. I'm getting better at holding the palette knife and drizzling the paint. <laughs> I guess that's what they say, practice makes perfect. Our practice definitely makes better. This is gonna be the bottom color because when I flip it, it's gonna be on the bottom. All right, so I have a plan. Once I dunk it, it's gonna be over. See what happens. Okay. 
wanted a little more gap between here. I wonder if I can do anything about that. Let's see. So I want to be able to put this in between. Let me see. Let me see what I can do here. Can I stretch this out some? So I have a definite idea in mind. I'd like to try to do it. I'm going to just throw in here. It's when you have a specific idea in mind that you end up going through in torturing the paint, or at least I feel like I'm torturing the paint. I'm trying to just make it do what I want it to do. I feel a little bad about it, but I continue on anyway, because I want to have a certain outcome. All right, let's stay with that. With this. Let's go down a little farther. Okay. I'm really uh, torturing this. Get the cell activator on, part two. All right, everyone, I'm gonna pick up the pace here. If you've seen me load the palette knife, I'm doing the same thing again, same swipe again. I'll be back when I get ready to swipe. I just wanted to take the time before because I needed you to see real time how things played out. So once again, I'm going to pick up the pace here. I do a lot of just fiddling around, just getting the pillow paint and the base and the composition where I want it to go. I'll also be doing a little palette knife work and scooping and dragging along the way before I start to spin. So I'm just going to put on some music and I'll be back when I get ready to go on my first spin. So I'm just going to point out here, and you may have noticed I didn't take the black all the way to the edges or I didn't try to break up the surface tension on the edges, and that is because it is the black and I know it's going to spread easier than when I use my white multi-pro. I think that's good. I think it's going to spread. Okay. Okay, so I'm about ready to wind up and there we go on our very first very gentle spin. I want to just give it a moment to exercise and stretch.
So once again, I'm going to pick up the pace. I have a lot to cut out or at least trim down. So here, because that one swipe didn't get all the way to the edge yet, I'm just putting the pillow to the edge to kind of give it the trail of where it needs to go as I start to spin it, spin it out really slow again. And I'm being very slow here. This is more than twice the speed. I just want the paint to very gently and easily spread to the edges as much as it's going to. And I'm going to give it a little help along the way as we go. So in between, I'll probably put on some music here and I'll come back when I get it pretty close to where I'm thinking I want it to be. I'm also going to cut out some of the spinning because I'm doing it so slowly you don't need to see every moment of it. might cut some of this out. I'm just helping it up across the sides and to some of the edges here. And I'm going to add here that it's really tempting to just decide to go add more pillow paint at this point, but I have plenty of paint on there and I just need to be patient and let it spread. So after all that spinning, I am just going to decide to dunk those little final unfinished spots just to get it complete so I can spin it out some more and get everything flattened. This one. Wow. Just a little more spinning. I want to get the edges covered evenly. I'm not quite centered. Don't know which way to go. I don't want to mess with it. I'm going to keep it the way it is. Keep it the way it is. I think we're about done. I don't want to lose the composition. Wow, I'm really liking this one. My edges are nicely covered. I've got good plant float off. Edges are good. Wow, so pretty, so dynamic. I will uh, continue to clean up the edges and I will get you a flyover in a moment. So everyone, this is the final resin results. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I love the way this turned out. It is just quite stunning. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all, you'll get all my latest art tutorials. And at the very end, I'm gonna have a link to my Bloom Lazy Susan playlist. Until next time, everybody, take care.